good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you are watching today's video. It is currently 4.45 a.m. and I'm on my way to boot camp. First of all, it rained yesterday and it is so muggy out. So I'm dreading boot camp. Whenever it rains here, for some reason, it gets extremely humid the next day. And of course it has to be a boot camp day. I mean, really rainy season is pretty much over here. It was weird that it rained yesterday. It was even thundering outside. And so I was so worried about Lola. I was at my friend Melissa's house. We were having a little craft day. We did a bunch of decoupage. I'll actually show you everything I made a little bit later today. It was on my kitchen counter drying. The decoupage was drying. Everything turned out really cute, but I wasn't home with Lola, so I was worried that she was scared. It was just really weird that it was raining and thundering yesterday, and then there is no rain in the forecast for the next couple of weeks. So just, I guess, a random, a random rain, which makes it humid this morning. So that's a little bit of a bummer. It is 72, which is not bad temperature wise, but it's the humidity that just it gets me. So I've got water. I have a sweat rig. I have bug spray because since it rained, the mosquitoes will probably be back again today. I am also a little crispy. I went uh, to the, I went to the lake on Saturday with my boot camp group and we kayaked and I always put sunscreen on my face, but I honestly, full transparency, very rarely put sunscreen on my body. Well, it was really hot and really sunny. And you know, when you're on the water, the sun is even worse. So I ended up putting on sunscreen when we stopped. So about halfway through and I got a little crispy, my back, my arms, even my face got a little sunburned, even though I had put full sunscreen on my face. So I think maybe with no makeup and just sunscreen, the sun just beat on my face, my body. So yeah, I'm a little bit crispy from my kayaking day, but it was so much fun. I finally was able to use my kayak. I've not used it since I bought it. I have a two seater blow up kayak that I got on Amazon. I'll link it for you guys if you're interested. Super affordable, it is so awesome. It is so easy to set up, so easy to take the air out of and put away. And then we put the bag on the shelf in our garage. So absolutely loved it. I popped some pictures in for you guys so you could see. So that was really fun. I actually had a really, really busy, busy weekend. Troy unfortunately has another gout flare up in his foot, which is really interesting, totally normal. His doctor doubled his dose and ever since then, it's been totally fine. Well, now he has another gout flare up. When it's in his foot, he can't even walk. So I had to clean the entire house yesterday. It was just, it was a crazy day. It was a very, very busy day. He also had a little bit of a fever last night. So I don't know if maybe he has if he, if he has a little bit of the flu or something, I don't know. That poor guy cannot catch a break. When I tell you that he has something wrong with him every single day, I'm not joking. And it's random different things. I mean, he has his typical medical conditions and then he has all the other issues that he has. So I just feel really bad for him. I mean, to be 50 years old and have all of the medical issues that he has constantly, I'm sure it's very draining on him. And he's always in such good spirits. I don't know truly how he does it. I'm just glad that he's able to get his disability and not have to work because I'm not joking. He could not work. It, it's something literally every single day. So hopefully when he gets up this morning, he's feeling a little bit better. He had like a 99.9 .9 fever last night. And then you guys know he stays up way later than me. So I have no idea how the evening transpired for him. But between the gout and these other issues, that poor guy. So it's been a busy weekend. It's been a very busy weekend. I actually need this workout to kind of decompress. One more quick update. I'm actually headed out on Thursday to go to a conference in Newport. Beach, California. My friend Amy from New York will be there. My friend Henry will be there. I'm really excited and thank goodness Lola is doing well. She's the nausea from her chemo is gone. So I feel comfortable leaving. I would never leave if I didn't feel comfortable. So that'll be a little bit of a, of a break, a little getaway for me. It's only a couple days. I leave Thursday around noon and I come home Sunday afternoon. So it's just a couple days, but like I said, it'll be nice to get away, see my friends and just again, decompress from my very hectic life lately. So let me, so let's get this workout in. Let's get home. Let's have some breakfast. Oh, sorry. One more update. One more little update. I did drink about half of my protein coffee this morning. I'll finish the other half of it when I get home and then we will have a healthy breakfast. 
am home and I just got ready for the day. I am ready for some breakfast. I'm super, super hungry, but I need to take my Bellway fiber gummies before I eat. Now I've shared Bellway so many times here on my channel. I've been taking these multiple times a week for well over two years. And it is a boot camp day today, as you know, so I don't take any fiber supplement until I get home from boot camp for obvious reasons, because it does help keep you regular, helps regulate all that good gut health, and I work out outside at 5 a.m., so I don't wanna be taking something that's going to be an issue working out outside, but now that I'm home, I am ready to take my fiber gummies for the day. So you can see that my container here is almost gone. I do take three of these fiber gummies, raspberry lemon flavor, they're vegan, they're organic, they have no added sugar, which I very much appreciate, because that's one thing with gummies, they typically have a lot of carbs and sugar and Bellway has no added sugar and they taste incredible. Now I've always picked Bellway up off of their website. I actually have a 25% discount for you on your first order on Bellway's website. But what's really exciting is these are now available at local stores. You can now find Bellway in your local store and local grocery store. So I was able to find Bellway at my local Fry store, which is a Kroger store. And even more exciting than that is they are currently offering a promotion where you buy two jars and Bellway will reimburse you for one of the jars. So it's basically buy one, get one one free. All you have to do is upload a copy of your receipt showing you purchased two Bellway fiber gummies and they will reimburse you for one of them. That's an amazing deal. That's 50% off. That's better than the code that I have for the online ordering. Bellway also has a store locator on their website so you can see what store near you carries Bellway Fiber Gummies. And no fear, if you don't have a store near you that carries them, you can still use my code and get 25% off purchasing online. Great for your gut, it's great to keep you regular, your hair, your skin, your nails, your brain, and it helps you reach your fiber intake every day. So definitely a staple for me. Like I said, I've been taking these for years and I'm so excited to find them at my local Fry store, my local Kroger store. Again, all of the information will be linked down below for you. And again, if they're not at your local store, you can use my discount code to get 25% off online. So Bellway Fiber Gummies are done for the day. And now it is time for breakfast. So what I'm going to have today is my breakfast casserole that I made in meal prep. This is the ultimate breakfast casserole. It has sweet potatoes in it, vegetables, turkey bacon, sausage. It is so incredibly delicious. You can see we have already dug in. So I'm going to have one serving of that. And then, like I mentioned in my meal prep, I was going to pair it with the fruit for again, some extra fiber and some good carbohydrates. So I have some really delicious jumbo, super sweet blueberries. So let me get everything together and I'll show you breakfast. So here is my breakfast. So I have one serving of that breakfast casserole and about a half and a half of a cup of blueberries. I got these jumbo ones in my grocery haul. They are so good. They're so juicy, they're so sweet. I love them. So this is the perfect well-rounded breakfast. You gonna have breakfast with me? As soon as you heard the microwave, you came running in. Do you want blueberry? She loves blueberries. There you go. So I just finished breakfast. I'm quickly going to mix up my creatine. I take the One Up Pure Rebuild. Right now I have the fruit punch flavor. Oh my gosh, this one is so good. It literally tastes like Hawaiian punch. It's actually almost gone. I take a creatine supplement every day, whether I work out or not. I always take my One Up Pure Rebuild. If you don't work out, I would still recommend taking a creatine supplement. And honestly, One Up is hands down the best. It tastes amazing, so it helps me get in my water. And of course, gets in my creatine. So I'm going to mix this up with my little frother, add some ice. I'm heading into my office to do some work, and then I do have a couple errands to run this morning. And here's the stuff I decoupaged. I'll show you guys everything. It's so cute. It was so much fun. It took me a little while to get a hang of the hang of it, but once I did, it was so much fun. So this is a vase that I found at the Dollar Tree, and I decoupaged it with this super cute Halloween napkin. I actually got those napkins at the Dollar Tree. So cute. I think I'm going to put some fairy lights in that. And then these are just little foam white pumpkins and we decoupage them then painted the stems of them gold. So I have this little one here. This one has a cute dog pattern. I'll show you my plate that I did. You can see the dog pattern better. And I really love this more kind of Victorian-y leaf pattern. And I thought these three pumpkins looked really cute together. Here's my plate. How much fun. There is a little Frenchie on there. So I was like, okay, that is so cute. Now you can't really put food on here. Melissa, my girlfriend, recommended wrapping it in saran wrap first if you're going to put crackers and things on there. Obviously, you wouldn't want anything wet, but it's so much fun. It could go on a plate stand. 
just so cute. And then I made a large Halloween pumpkin with this cute little Boo Ghost napkin. This candy jar, this has just really fun kind of whimsical Halloween napkins on it. So much, so cute. And this is a jar with a lid. That is also from the Dollar Tree. So is the plate. And then I got these at the Dollar Tree too. And I did this really pretty light orange and gray pumpkin pattern. It's actually this one right here on these little tea light holders and I'm going to put a tea light in there and I think that'll be really pretty just reflecting through the napkin. So I made all of these. It was really truly so much fun to do. So we're gonna be heading out. I need to go to the post office and then I actually need to run out to where our new house is being built to drop off some paperwork. So we're gonna go out there. We're gonna get a little bit of an update of what's going on and I've gotta get some things mailed off at the post office and I'm going to make a coffee to take with me. I'm being financially responsible and making my own coffee Plus, I promised that I would share with you guys my thoughts on this pumpkin spice cold brew from Trader Joe's. It is so good. It's absolutely delicious. It does have 25 calories in four ounces. So it is technically one point on WW. I wouldn't count it. Per I don't count it personally. There's no sugar. I personally don't count it, but technically it'd be one point for up to probably eight ounces, which is a lot because you're due 50% water, 50% of the concentrate. So I have some plastic cups and lids that I always just have on hand for coffee on the go. So I'm going to add my coffee concentrate with 50% with equal amounts of water. And then I put in the zero sugar pumpkin spice creamer. You guys, these two things together are so good. Who needs Starbucks when you can make it at home? And it's basically a two to three point coffee. So I'm going to make that up. And then I have yet to try these. So we're gonna try these out together. These I got at Costco. They're from the brand Viri and they're Superfood Bites Cranberry Dragon Fruit. 90 calories, five grams of fat. And there's three grams of protein in here. I haven't tried these. They're a little superfood bite. So we're gonna try these out. And one of these and my coffee is going to be my morning snack. So here's what these look like. Let's try these. Ooh, these look really good. They have chocolate on the bottom. Cheers. Mmm. These are so good. It says, eat the rainbow. The vibrancy of pink dragon fruit and the red cranberries make our superfood bites bright, beautiful, and refreshing. We are what we eat. Through the power of superfoods like pumpkin seeds, almonds, and chia seeds, superfood bites will make you feel your very best. 10 out of 10. So I'm going to add my coffee concentrate and then equal parts water. Then I add in my creamer and some ice. It's seriously so good. You've got to do the zero sugar pumpkin creamer and the cold brew together. So delicious. And like I said, financially responsible. So me and my delicious coffee are in the car going to run our errands. I just realized too that I need to wash my car because I drove to the lake on Saturday when we went kayaking and my car is covered in bugs. Like it's disgusting. And then it rained and there's these raindrops all over my mirrors and windows. So I am going to run through the car wash and also I have a quarter tank of gas. So I think I'm going to stop and fill up my gas. I usually honestly wash my car and get gas on Wednesdays when I grocery shop, but this Wednesday I'm not going to be able to because I have a nail appointment at nine in the morning. So I have to hurry up and get to the grocery store, shop, get home, film my haul, and get to my nail appointment. So we're gonna make a couple extra stops when we're out today. And we are heading out to where our new house is being built. I actually have to drop off some paperwork really quickly at the office. I haven't told you guys, I did vlog it for the next video, but we met with the superintendent this last week. He's wonderful and we kind of mapped out where our house is going to be on the property and we talked about kind of what to expect like a pre pre-construction meeting kind of what to expect once we break ground so it's definitely real like it's getting more real as we go through these different stages so i'm going to drop that paperwork off we'll quickly drive by our property it is a work day so construction is happening and i don't like to be in the way of the guys working but we'll quickly drive by you guys have got to see the house that in my last video was just sticks on the ground it is already being stuccoed or it was being stuccoed last week so who knows what stage it's at now it's just crazy how fast these houses go up once they actually pour the foundation and get the plumbing and everything in. So let's go run our errand. On a run from a given disaster Speed away from the holy mind Pride That's where I never thought it would matter If I 
So there's our property. So the lot next to us is sold. As of this last week, this particular lot was not sold. I don't know if it has since sold, but look at this house. It is already completely stuccoed. Actually, when we were out here last week, like late last week to meet the superintendent, this was not stuccoed. That is insane how fast that this house has come together. He said maybe like two more months and it'll be completely done. Once all the like foundation stuff is done, it just goes so fast. So I just dropped off my paperwork at the office and I wanted to show you guys the model home village here at Quail Creek. So this entire little street that they've created Created. all of these homes are the model home so all of the different floor plans that you can choose from so this is where we came initially and chose our floor plan so we walked through all of the model homes in the beginning and then we've been through multiple times just making sure that we for sure wanted to stick with the floor plan we chose and just to see how the other ones were laid out but I thought that I would quickly take you through the floor plan that we are getting because I would like your advice on a couple of things so our house will basically be this exact same floor plan with obviously different finishes and a different exterior but this is our floor plan it is called the Vienta and this one actually has a casita built on the front we will not have a casita so ours will look quite different than this one but let's go take a look all right so i want to ask you some advice on a couple things i did show the model home when i did my video when we basically in my first video but i want to ask you guys just a couple things you can get another quick glimpse at the model home it's just so beautiful. It's so big and open that immediately, like I said in the video, we fell in love with how big and open and beautiful it is. So here's my first question. This particular piece of artwork that is in the model home, Troy and I absolutely love. We are doing the same colors that you see in the model home with a pop of green. And my question for you guys is, do you think, do you think this should be our splurge? Because this is a very pricey piece of artwork. It is massive. I don't know if you can tell how big it is, but it is literally massive. It is about 600 to $700 framed. Now this would be our splurge, our kind of housewarming gift to ourselves. Let me know, let me know if you think we should splurge on it. We really, really love it. And I told Troy we could be economical with the rest of our decor, but this picture is everything. Next is in this area right here. So we have this bottom portion, but we did not buy the upper cabinet. This is the garage and then this is the powder room. So I'm wondering if floating shelves would look really nice above here or if we should put a piece of artwork. So that's another thing I'm contemplating. One more thing. So we did get blinds for these two small windows, but we didn't get any blinds or anything for all of these big windows, especially the slider. We're now thinking we should have got blinds for the living room window because we're just going to be in a fishbowl at night so that may be something we do after the fact but we really like the look of these I guess faux curtains half curtains so that is what the curtain look that the curtain does not get any bigger than that it's just these small panels but I think it looks really nice and adds a little bit of warmth so what do you guys think about these kind of faux curtains that don't actually close but they do add a hominess and warmth we're thinking of doing those here even and then like i said getting potentially some blinds for these windows and this is going to be my office so it's going to be this room here with these nice glass doors and again what do you think of the faux curtains i did get blinds for my office for sure but what do you think about having some faux curtains in here as well let me know your thoughts. If you guys think we should splurge on the painting, do the curtains. Let me know by looking at the model home. What kind of design tips do you have for us? Like I said, this is the aesthetic that we're going for. Like all of this, the grays, the neutrals, the modern farmhouse, that's 100% our aesthetic. Oh, let me flip you around and show you paintings I did purchase. So I actually bought, I actually bought these, <laughs> these three prints down the wall here. Now these ones are framed 
in a silver frame. I just bought the canvas. I couldn't find the frames. They're actually really not available anymore, but I was able to find them on one website and mine are a little bit larger. These are 30 by 30 and mine are 35 by 35 and they are a they're on a board, but they're just the canvas, no frame. But I just love how nice this looks when you come in. One thing that, one other thing that we're going to be doing is everything's going to be big. We're not going to have a lot of small artwork. We really want to focus on big pieces. So I love these. Oh, and actually let me take you guys outside because there's a piece of artwork out here that I really like as well. And it's a little bit expensive for us. We would put it in the inside because we actually did an outdoor fireplace on this wall right here of our patio will be a fireplace. So there won't be a space for artwork, but I do really like this cactus. So I'm thinking I wanna grab that too, maybe for the inside. I think I found this one online and it's also pricey. So it's just deciding where I guess we wanna place our money, but we do wanna do the same kind of outdoor vibe as well with a sectional couch that faces the outdoor fireplace and then maybe just a smaller table as well. But yeah, so nice out here. It's a really big covered patio space. Just me and all the red lights Keep on driving and driving If you missed my community post and in my Facebook group, Clean Simple Eats just came out with another drink. They are just killing it with all these amazing drinks. So they have their protein water, their protein with energy, and now they came out with an energy drink. Now these ones are carbonated. So just heads up on that. It says plant powered energy, mental clarity, non-GMO, zero sugar, and hundred milligrams of caffeine. So there is caffeine in these. Again, they're an energy drink. So there's four new flavors, Island Sunrise, Lava Tropic, Watermelon Candy, and Orange Swirl. They're all really, really delicious. Zero points on WW. And I want to say, I think they're 10 calories a can. So really low calorie, no points, really great way to get energy. And they have some ingredients for focus as well, which is different than other energy drinks on the market. And there's no weird ingredients and colors and things in these ones. So you can use my same discount code for all Clean Simple Eats products for the energy drink. So I'll link it for you. So here is my lunch. You saw that I made two of my little unwitched sandwiches. Love them. I've got turkey, pepper jack cheese, light mayo, and that dill pickle mustard from Trader Joe's. I looked when I was there last time, they didn't have it. So it was seasonal, which is a bummer because it's delicious. And then I have half of a cup of grape. Get it. Get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get Did you get your baby? Yay! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So for my afternoon snack, I'm having my second protein supplement of the day. I was gonna make a protein shake and then I forgot I'm out of Fair Life milk and I don't really wanna use regular milk. So instead, I'm going to have my other Bear Bells in pumpkin spice. So I bought these at Trader Joe's. When I filmed the grocery haul, I popped up on the screen what I thought of it because I bought two and I ate one before I edited the video. It is good. It's not very pumpkin spicy. It definitely is more chocolatey, spicy, but not pumpkin-y. It is really good though, but if you're expecting pumpkin spice in your face, you're not gonna get it with this. It does taste really good though, and it's 210 calories with 20 grams of protein. So I'm gonna have a quick, simple afternoon snack. For dinner tonight, I am making Italian 
hot dish. I'm really excited for this. I love a good cheesy pasta. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need mushrooms, a pound of ground beef, do 93 or 96%, green bell pepper, light mozzarella cheese, oregano, garlic powder, and onion powder. I'm using minced onion because I'm out of onions. I use them all up, so I don't have a fresh onion, but you definitely can do fresh instead of minced. Tomato sauce, I'm using Barilla protein plus pasta and some salt and pepper. I did half of the box of pasta coming to a boil. We're going to cook it per package instructions. And then I did the pound of ground beef, the entire green bell pepper, and half of a cup of mushrooms. And we're going to let that cook down. I also added in the minced onion. You would also add in your raw onion. Once your ground beef and vegetables are cooked, I'm adding in a 15 ounce can of tomato sauce and all of our seasoning. We're going to allow this to come to a boil and simmer for about 15 minutes. My pasta is just about done. You want to cook it al dente. I did preheat my oven to 350 degrees. I sprayed an eight by eight baking dish with nonstick cooking spray, drained and rinsed my pasta. I'm adding that to the bottom. We're going to top the pasta with the meat sauce. We're going to sprinkle on the rest of our mushrooms. I forgot that we need a tablespoon of Parmesan as well. It says optional, but I am going to just sprinkle a tablespoon on top. We're going to go ahead and cover the pasta with some aluminum foil. So the hot dish is out of the oven. It smells so good, so yummy and cheesy. I'll go ahead and serve it up and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here is my dinner. I'm so excited for this. Protein, a good carb with even protein in the pasta, veggies, so that is going to be dinner. So it's the end of the night. I had a very busy, productive day today, and if, like I mentioned earlier, I'm actually headed to California, Newport Beach, to be exact, on Thursday for a conference over the weekend. So whenever I travel, I like to do what I like to call an everything shower, wash my hair, shave, exfoliate, and self-tan. So that's actually what I'm going to do. That way my tan can develop today and through the day tomorrow, and then I'll wash it off and I'll have this beautiful tan when I leave on Thursday. So my favorite way to exfoliate my body, which by the way is essential if you're going to self-tan, and really you should be exfoliating your entire body at at least once a week, I use my SEMA exfoliating towel. Now, I shared this with you guys, it's been a while. It was in my nighttime routine video because I am a nighttime showerer, so that was part of my video, and I've been using the SEMA Japanese exfoliating towel ever since. This makes exfoliation so incredibly easy. It's very gentle on the skin, yet very effective. It's irritation free with gentle exfoliation made from bamboo charcoal fiber, which is organic to gently exfoliate sensitive skin without stripping your skin's natural oil. It helps stimulate collagen production and reduces fine lines and sun damage. There's really a ton of reasons why you should exfoliate. For me, again, it's something I do every week. It's something I always, always do before I self tan. Purify your clogged pores, eliminate infection deep in your skin surface, boost collagen production to smooth away lines, wrinkles, and blemishes, removes excess oil, helps your skin better absorb your skincare products, even your skin texture, and reduce breakouts. And it's exfoliation without harsh chemicals, and I'm all about that. I also exfoliate my face a couple times a week in the shower. Again, get all that dead skin off. Also by the circular motion, using the SEMA Japanese Exfoliating towel. It's going to help with blood circulation. There's just so many benefits of using the SEMA towel. It just literally makes exfoliation so incredibly easy. They actually have a 30 day guarantee. If you try it for 30 days and you don't love it, they will completely refund your money, but you're going to love it. Like I said, I've been using it for months and months and months, and I absolutely love it. I have several in my backup. SEMA so graciously offered a discount code for you guys. They did that for my last video as well. They're such a great company. So I will go ahead and put all of the discount information down in the description box for you, but definitely check it out. I can't wait to hop in the shower, get all nice and exfoliated with my SEMA towel and ready for my trip. So we're gonna finish out my food for the day with a Chobani flip. We're sticking with the whole pumpkin theme. This is the pumpkin harvest crisp. So it says pumpkin spice, low fat yogurt with oatmeal pastry pieces, creamy icing chunks and cinnamon 
frosted cookies. So this little side has a bunch of goodies in it and then the other side is your yogurt. You flip it over and it's a perfect dessert because it is, it is a little bit more on the sweet side because of all of the mix-ins. It's 150 calories, so not bad at all calorie-wise. Gonna give me some protein and that perfect sweet treat. <laughs> Ow! Ow! Yeah, give him a little luck. That's what he gets. On the run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind that is a wrap on today's what I eat in a day. I'm going to spend the rest of the evening with little Miss Lola. Most, I was gone all of the evening last night. Well, she's ready. So I didn't get to watch any of our shows. So Lola and I are gonna hang out the rest of the evening. Don't forget to check out the description box. I will have Sima, the Japanese exfoliating towel, Bellway, everything I shared with you in today's video. And tonight's dinner recipe is on my website. That is also in the description box. Nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come join our Facebook group. Our holiday challenge starts October 1st. We'd love to have you join us and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.